All right, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't worry, we're gonna go through the structure deck soul burner, but just a little gag, and uh, you know what, maybe I'm a little bit too harsh on this deck, because this is not the Ancient Gear structure deck. If you remember, the Ancient Gear structure deck reprinted Max C, and that was pretty much the only good card in there, and I'm sure I've offended a couple Ancient Gear players, but if we're talking from a competitive perspective, I mean, you're not gonna play Ancient Gears. They're pretty good in Duel Links, though, but you would buy that structure deck, open it, get the Max C out, and then just throw the rest in the garbage. The difference between that structure deck and this structure deck is that Salomon greats are pretty great. And uh, okay, I'll stop with the puns now. But uh, yeah, Salomon greats are actually a pretty competitive deck in the OCG, and it's uh, pretty exciting to see what they'll do in the TCG. I think that uh, missing Max C will hurt a lot. That is a pretty important card for that deck. But I said the same thing about Subterra Guru Control, and that deck ended up still being pretty good. So uh, this this deck's good. It's uh, it's not like Zodiac in terms of like the power level of the cards, but it is like Zodiac in terms of you're really using. Um, the link monsters on top of the link monsters and uh, a lot of times you're using I mean some of them have uh, trigger effects when you use the same name for the same guy that you just summon there's some sort of f fun nuances there so it kind of plays similar to Zodiac it's not as good as Zoo was though but and they have a cool counter trap um, yeah so I just thought we'd take a look at this and this is a great buy these are actually really really hard to come by I know online people are selling them for like 15 20 dollars which is like I mean that's just like crazy right I can't believe that's even like a thing um, that's like way too expensive there's no reason you should ever pay that much for these uh, personally I just paid ten dollars but I only had uh, two there was only two at my local OTS and actually my uh, the main OTS that I always buy products from the one that I bought the case from um, of Savage Strike they were actually completely sold out within like three hours which is um man it's crazy like I guess I just underestimated how much people really wanted the Ash Blossom reprint just because uh, personally I don't I don't care about that at all but I know a lot of budget players are really excited so uh, anyway the uh, beginner's guide I've mentioned this in a lot of videos I always mention it in every structure deck we open no longer do you get the uh, actual um, rule book with the games this is just a beginner's guide it doesn't talk about a lot of the more intricate rulings the reasoning um, for it is that the actual rule book is like way too long to print you can find it online it's on the main website and I think even probably in there let's see does it say on the back here for complete rulebook visit yugioh card.com slash en slash rulebook um, unless you're trying to find it in a different language that's not going to work but uh, yeah the rulebook's like kind of cool that they don't put in structure decks because it would be way too thick i think it'd be overwhelming for a lot of players and uh for most situations a beginner's guide is just fine it just doesn't talk about like the nitty gritty with a lot of stuff but uh yeah that's the rulebook and then we have the the excellent play mat to impress all your friends you know i've said it before these uh, play mats and structure decks, it's not that they look bad, it's just that they feel bad. Like, it's its just impractical to use a paper play mat, and that's just like the same thing for like any game, basically, but uh, it's its a real shame. But the, the way that they sort of make up for that is in the, uh, at YCS is when they have these structure deck tournaments where you just use the structure deck. Um, the play mats there look like these play mats, but they actually come with uh, like the, the fabric or whatever, and it's not fabric. Um, whatever it's called um why can i not think of cloth well i guess this one i don't know it doesn't matter but anyway it uses like the normal play mat of like regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards rubber play mats is what they call them <laughs> finally came to me um anyway yeah salem grades are cool it uh, i don't know if i'll play them i i do love ultra guys but this deck actually is uh pretty sick i'll kind of i don't know the most things about salem grades because i don't really look into ocg cards as i've talked about before but they certainly have some cool cards that i'll talk about through here and i'm gonna learn how to play the deck i think it's a, a cool deck and it seems like the type of deck that i would play has a lot of like control aspects which is really cool so this is their main boss monster salmon great heat leo and uh, what's interesting about this card is that they actually printed the alternate artwork version of this card in this particular structure deck which i don't think we've ever seen before has there ever been a structure deck where they printed two of the same cards one with an alternate artwork i don't think so but uh yeah it's like their big guy their uh their, their link three monster then they have like a link one and a link two and stuff but uh, that's that guy's like the ultra rare this is the main card that you're trying to play because it takes two L3 monsters and it says you can attach one material from this card, special summon one Salman Great Monster from your deck in defense position. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of the turn except fire monsters. That is insane. I mean, we've talked about on the channel before how crazy it is when you can summon monsters from a deck. You have Invoker, you have things like Rap here, you have things like Summon Sorcerers, Zold. All these cards out there that summon things from the deck is just so good. You don't have to draw the cards, you can just summon them directly. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this 
card in the OCG is really easy to make. You just play Speed Roy Terra Top. I don't know if people are going to play that here. Maybe they still will, even just one copy, but it seems kind of iffy. Um, I've seen some discussions about playing like Dangers, like just Snake and Jackalope could be interesting, but this is like the main card for this deck. I mean, there's, all the Link monsters are good too. This is like the card that everyone's trying to make. Then you have uh, Salmon Great. I can't pronounce it, but it's it's a Lynx, and then it says, uh, so this is one level four or lower Cybers monster. If this card is Lynx Summon, you can add one Salmon Great Sanctuary from your deck to your hand, so you only have to play one copy of Sanctuary. Sanctuary is really cool as well. Gives you some cool bonus effects. We'll talk about that when we get to that card. And then it says, if a Salmon Great card you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So it's kind of cool there. It protects you from like things like backward destruction and to get rid of your monsters, which is really important because uh, when you have the Counter Trap card, it only can be activated when you control a Salmon Great Link monster which means that if your opponent just runs it over a battle, you're kind of screwed, so this thing's cool. And then we have um, the main staple three of, of this deck, Salmon Great Gazelle. If a Salmon Great monster sends the graveyard, except Salmon Great Gazelle, except in the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can summon Salmon Great card from your deck to the graveyard, except Gazelle. And the important part there is that all the Salmon is, uh, I don't think he's in this structure deck, but the, the new rare that was printed can like add cards back from your graveyard to your hand, the, the spells and traps. So you send the counter trap with this card a lot of time, and you just add it back to your hand immediately it's pretty cool um that's like a stable we have there's also um lady debug which isn't in here which is in uh, the power power code link structure deck that is also a staple three of because uh, you can make uh, this guy with the Lady Debug. It's a Cypress monster. Then we have Salomon Great Spinny. This card is not spiny. It is spinny. He is spinning. He he has a spine. We all have spines, except uh, for things that don't have spines. But this guy is spinning. It says spinning. Anyway, uh, if you control a Salomon Great card, you can discard this card, then target one face of monster on the field. It gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. If you control a Salomon Great monster other than the Salomon Great Spinny, and this card's in a graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish one the field. Just kind of like a cool recursion effect. Um, you can like draw this card and does like a combo, but the main like two card combo is opening both of these cards. So you'll see uh, probably two copies of that in most builds. Then we have the Rota for the deck, which also has a bonus effect. So it's a quick play and says activate one of these effects. It's either a Rota for monsters or target one Salomon Great Link monster you control that was link summoned using a monster with its same name as material that link monster is unaffected by monster effects until the end of the turn so it's kind of like a uh i mean sky striker eagle booster or something along those lines and then we have the counter trap really crazy card when a spell slash trap card or monster effect is activated while you control a salmon gate link monster and get the activation and if you do destroy that card while this card is in the graveyard if a salmon gate link monster is linked summoned to your field using a monster with the same name as material so you can kind of see that recurring theme here and also uh, the sanctuary will give you an, an ability to just act or to just play a link monster on top of a link monster with the same name so that's kind of cool too um you can just set this card so it's kind of like a lost win in that regard so you get extra activations out of it but also you can just like add it back to your hand so those are the hollows um of the hollows they're all good cards. These are good hollow choices. Uh, I know I just spent a lot of time talking about them, but these are like the main cards of this deck. There are a lot of bad Salomon Great cards. There are a lot of good Salomon Great cards, but uh, we don't want to get stuck up on cards like Salomon Great Raccoon, but we'll go through the commons as well. So we got Raccoon, Mole, uh, Fowl, <laughs> Beat Bison, which I didn't know existed. We have uh, this guy who I wish was playable because I love this guy. Look how dopey he looks. He's like Oh, he's so silly looking. I wish he was playable. Um, we have Salmon Great Foxy. This is either a one or a two of for most Salmon Great players in the OCG, so it's worth sort of taking note of. We have Falco, pretty much conventionally played as a one of. We have Jack Jaguar, which is usually played as a one of as well. We have Salmon Great Wolvi which looks really weird. See, like, some of the Salmon Greats aren't good, like, Paro isn't very good. So you have, like, a lot of them that aren't very good, but you have, like, a core set of them, like, five or six monsters that are really powerful, so it's cool. Um, we have that guy. We have True King, the Vanisher. Um, pretty cool. They're uh, reprinting the True Kings. We have Dogoron as a common. Is this the first reprint for this card as a reprint of a kaiju monster as a common we've seen gamma seal reprinted a few times we've seen some of them get rarity bumps i think this might be the first uh maybe i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's the maybe did they included kaiju in the cyber dragon structure deck i'm not sure but uh this one or wait cyber dragon structure deck is like super old never mind i don't know i was thinking of like cyber Night horizon pretty sure that's the first common kaiju print. i'm sure someone correct me if i'm wrong though uh flame bull fire dog fencing fire ferret inferno Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, the card that a lot of people are getting the structure deck for. Um, I think that what I would give, if, if I could give advice to anyone going to tournaments the next couple weeks, I think this deck, even if it isn't like a meta deck, it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be at your locals, it's going to be at regionals, maybe not YCSs, but they're not at YCS for a couple of weeks anyway. 
just because so many budget players are picking up this deck just for the Ash Blossoms, and then they're going to hear that, like, oh, Salmon Gates are actually good decks. So maybe I should play it. So uh, definitely, like, read these cards, figure out what they do, figure out how to beat them, because no matter how good or bad this deck is going to be, it is going to be everywhere for the next couple weeks because everyone bought it for Ash. Um, so that's some just something to keep in mind. We have Red Resonator, Volcanic Shell, my buddy. And <laughs> what the... What is this thing? <laughs> Four Mud Skipper. During your main phase, you can reveal one Link Monster extra deck. If you do, when you link some this turn, you can treat the... What, what is... What a, do they play... I've never even... That card's crazy looking. Anyway, uh, sorry, I've just never seen that card before. It looks really weird. Um, we have a Salmon Great Claw Sanctuary. So the big part of Sanctuary is if you link summon a Salmon Great Link Monster, you can use one Salmon Great Link Monster. You control the same name as the entire material. So like I said, the uh, the one that's not in the structure deck, the rare one gets a bonus effect when you uh, use itself as Link Material. So that and also the the boss monster does as well. So that's kind of cool. So you can do that um, during damage calculation. If your monster battles, you can pay a thousand life points, then target one Link Monster you control, make its attack zero. And if you do gain life point, you go to the original attack. So that's kind of a cool way to gain life points. But the main thing with this is that you just play the one because uh, the cat searches it when you summon um, so then you can just search it out immediately and then it gives you that bonus effect which is cool um, will of the salaman great pretty good card we have monster reincarnation circle of the fire king is kind of a random inclusion i guess they're fires so they gotta reprint it transmodify link bound magic planter really weird to see that card as a common that card is really cool um that's it for the spell cards then we have salaman great rage which i believe is a one of um you play like usually one or two counter traps and i think this is the one of or maybe it's this one i'm pretty sure it's this one though um yeah oh yeah because th this is like the thing that pops cards so it's definitely this one's like a one of uh transmigration prophecy threatening roar break off trap pull when a link wants to link someone to destroy all monsters on the field that are not linked okay weird backfire goes and match pretty cool reprint and then we got some bonus um extra deck monsters this is what i was saying about the fact that they printed a uh an alternate artwork for the card in the set like i thought this was like a mistake at first but uh nope this is the same exact card um the names are the exact same the effects are the exact same but they have an alternate artwork we've like i, I don't think it's a single structure deck that has printed a uh, an alternate artwork for a card in this structure deck where it's like the boss monster we've seen uh like in the zane truesdale like duelist pack back in the day i think that they had the alternate artwork of cyber dragon and the regular artwork of cyber dragon no they didn't did they i can't maybe it was like a legend i don't know it doesn't really matter but you don't usually see two cards with different artworks that are the same card in the exact same set they usually spread them out to not confuse people we have a flame administrator in a <laughs> dual little chimera that's it for the soul burner structure deck hopefully you guys were able to pick up your copies at your locals for not like 20 dollars a piece i know that one of my locals was selling for 15 dollars which uh, i did not buy that one well they were sold out i probably would have bought them but uh 10 dollars is probably what you should try to buy these for because otherwise like it just gets to the point where you probably should just buy singles but i think this is a great investment i think that this has the potential and this is a pretty big thing that I'm going to say here because I think that structure deck is so good. I think this is the new Dino Smasher's Fury, which was the new Monarch structure deck. And I really mean that. I think that in the case of the Monarch structure deck, you could buy it and just buy like a couple Karaz. You had a full deck. You had Domain Monarchs. In the case of Dino Smasher's Fury, you don't even really need to buy anything else. You can just play those because they have good cards in there, like Twin Twisters. You can just go to a tournament with a structure deck. And I think in this case, there's a lot of good cards in here. And I think that you could probably just buy three structure decks and then get the, the rare Salmon Great... Um, link monster that just came out in savage strike and uh, you could probably just play a pretty competent deck so definitely keep uh, an eye out for that but uh yeah i'll see you guys later let me know what you think about the soul burner structure deck in the comment section below are you happy that ash was included or do you feel like it should have waited for a different set i think most people are pretty happy that it was included in this particular structure deck i'll see you later though thank you so much for watching today's video goodbye